Uh, I'm Dave Vondel. I'm the uh, only member of the company Vondel Sense, and my primary product here is called the Vondel Scope. It's a CRT-based, fully analog XY oscilloscope, and um, behind the scenes is this guy over here. So um, the kind of building blocks of the module is, is at its core is an actual cathode ray tube. Uh, so you've got like an electron beam that is firing this way towards the display and uh, uses these coils to deflect that beam, um, which is able to kind of draw the images that you see on the display. Uh, so that's how you know any old analog oscilloscope works. Uh, but what's special about this is that because it's this smaller display that's uh, only a, a just over an inch thick, we're able to mint, mount it in uh, Eurorack format. Uh, so there's plenty of other scopes out there on the market, but this is the only fully analog uh, CRT-based one. And what that allows you to give you is this like, really kind of smooth, rich display for visualizing sound. So right now, um, I've got this Polygogo uh, where I'm sending audio signals through the X and the Y channels and we're, we've, we're able to see what that looks like. Um, and if you kind of modulate that, you can kind of see the effect of different, uh, different sounds and modulations through uh, this visual means. Um, so other scopes can do a really great job at like diagnostics, um, but this is really gonna be uh, a, a different kind of visualization than you would get in it from any other kind of oscilloscope. Uh, so right now we're looking at the X and Y mode, um, but you, it also has like more traditionally you might just look at one signal at a time. So you can also go to just uh, a time base in the Y mode and we will use my amplifiers here to stretch this out a little bit and bring it so, back a little bit. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. So now um, we're looking at just the Y, just the signal that's going into the Y input against time. And you can change things like the time base. Um, so you can kind of try to get it to like just sync up there, but there's a trigger. So you can turn that trigger on and see what that looks like um, triggered. So it, it's not overwriting itself. If you take the trigger off, if you're looking at multiple versions of it right. mapped over its, itself. Um, so that's the, the basics of the scope side. And then on the, um, on the other, this, this other unit, which is this, the same unit, it's just in the video mode. I've got this uh, video synth here that's powering it. So you can put any kind of video signal into that uh, and use it as a, it as a video monitor. The camera, so when I first showed this, uh, people who are like streamers or performers thought, you know, wanted to get this to have, add some visual interest to their set. Um, but wanted to be able to make it so other people could see it larger and asked for like a video out and it's not creating a video signal. So the best way to get video out is to put a camera on it and film it. So that camera is uh, showed and showing the image here. Um, if I can get a little bit of the glare out of the way. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's one of the possibilities if you, um, I've got a $50 camera module that you can put over there. To find out more about VondelSense, please visit their website and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. You're watching CatSynth TV.